What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the gas station. I'm your host Bjorn, also known as Bear, and today we have a new quantum fuel pump going in my bike. So I have about seven miles left on my I have probably five miles or three miles left on my motorcycle as far as fuel. It says low range, so that's within ten miles on this bike. But pretty much I just got barely home today and I said, you know what, this is the best time to do this. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I hope you guys like the episode. I got a couple other announcements to make. And this could be the last time that you see me working on a Harley or at least this Harley. Um, I have some other news. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys like the episode. Uh, please like and subscribe. Show your friends. All that good shit. Um, Let's get right into it. What's going on guys? <clears throat> so today's video is a fuel pump change video with the fuel filter change. Um, a couple months ago, what was going on was a couple months ago, I was doing 100 miles an hour coming back from Santa Barbara to Ventura, um, where I live. And while I was riding with a group of people, I started to hear a really high pitched noise. Now, I couldn't really pinpoint where that high pitched noise was coming from, so I kind of narrowed it down to injectors, um, something to do with my air filter, um, high pitch electrical noise somewhere close to my injectors, my fuel pump, or where the air filter is at so something was happening there um, it wasn't cavitating but it sounded like a fuel pump pressure I mean I couldn't really really pinpoint it out but what I what I do know is that when I had my tank originally painted the red color that it is um, there was a lot of debris that was inside of there the last time I opened up my tank so definitely um, could have been uh, like the gloss or whatever was um, getting nasty inside the tank and starting to flake off so um, my screen was plugged on my pump or it was my fuel pump or it was my fuel filter or it had something to do with my injectors now uh, I hadn't changed my fuel pump in a long time and knowing that that crud was at the bottom of my tank um, the first thing I did was I just went and got a filter, paid, went to Harley shop, paid to get a filter, and then I ordered one of those high fuel pumps, um, those, that quantum fuel pump that I'm going to put in. So I just wanted to tell you guys, if you ever have a high hissing, buzzing sound, um, sounds electrical and you're doing, um, high RPMs and for a long distance, it's probably your fuel pump or your fuel filter. So I did some research after I just thought it was my fuel pump. I did some more research and found out that a lot of people had fuel filter problems and that's where that um, buzzing was coming from. It does sound like an electrical buzzing, so I'm hoping that this fix fixes it. But if you guys have any buzzing um, on your bike, like an electrical buzz, um, you know, try to pinpoint it where it's coming from in a safe manner um, but you know you're trying to put your ear down and you're hauling ass at the same time so it's not always the easiest but I just wanted to let you guys know that's what today's episode is about if you ever do have that buzzing change out your fuel pump change out um, your fuel filter and um, make sure to check all your components everything's plugged in and um, go from there so thank you guys for Stop in here, listening to me for a second. Now let's get back into the video. We got a three sixteenths. Take these bolts off. So this is what you have when you take it off. 
I've done some wiring in here, obviously. But uh, take this clip off, take that hose off. That's your breather hose. Um, I'm gonna take pretty much all these wires off right now. And I need to be extra careful with this piece uh, because it's glued on. It's not, it's just, I gotta be careful with that piece because the plastic piece that's right there has a little glue on it. Just so it, it didn't need it. I just had it on there. And I gotta unclip everything. So this is what we have in here. We have this clip right here. We got those bolts off from there. Um, you got your breather hose. We're gonna unclip this one, unclip that one and that one down there is custom so you don't have that and then i'm gonna take i'm gonna try not to take the dash fully off we'll see but i i just don't like taking this guy off right here in the middle um but it's not a big deal i could take that guy off too and then we'll be free and we'll start taking off all these bolts that go around there and then we'll start with that So as you can see, I just unclipped it right here. I unclipped it right here on the top. And then I just let it hang off the side of the vehicle. Kind of propped it up on my um, highway peg over there or whatever. And now I'm going to take the, what is it? Torx 20, T20. And I'm going to take all these star screws star bolts out okay so now we're gonna take all those out so this is what you're gonna see this um, little piece right here it's connected to the bottom of the plate that was on top here bolted onto the tank um, pull it over there's a little clip that's right here push that down with a little screwdriver and it will pop right off do not try to just pull it off without hitting that clip you don't want to break it this stuff inside the gas tank obviously probably gets a little brittle so I don't see anything out of the ordinary right now which I probably won't so let's get this thing out of there you can see uh, you can't see but pretty much I barely have any gas in there all right let's go and to get this out there's a clip right This slides up and you pull this up and slide it over. Now I'm going to start fandangling this thing out here, okay? Um, it's going to have to roll over, maybe put something on top of the tank so you don't scratch it if you got nice paint. So I disconnected this wire that's right here, disconnected this wire, it goes right here. I also, it also has a little tab that you hit with the screwdriver that's right there on the top. Okay, so I'm going to leave this to the side, this wire, and then I'm going to get in here and take the pump out. So this hose right here goes in the side here. There's a clip on top, a clip in the bottom. Pull the clip off on top right here with the little screwdriver. Wedge it to one side and then go in from this way. And you can push the little clip down on the other side from the inside of here. Off the inside of there, you can push down, hit that other clip. It'll pop out just enough and then you can start wedging it out. So we'll take that off. I might have to take this one off, but whatever we need to take off, we will. So we're gonna pull this clip off. You hit the two ends of the black piece, the clip. There's another piece on the bottom. Press it, pull it out. 
Okay, now we're gonna pull this over. We're gonna take that off. That's gonna split. We'll take this piece off first, but then we'll take this off next, which is the pump assembly. So I removed the purple cable that was wrapped around this little piece of plastic. It gave me enough room to maneuver it. Remember not to drop anything in your tank. You have your O-ring right here and your filter. And I'm going to unclip that purple wire from inside there right now. I believe it, sh it should just push over with the screwdriver and pull out. And then I'll take that piece out. And then I'll take the white piece out with the pump. So the plastic, this plastic piece right here, this assembly for the filter that clips into here will be like this. When you take it out, this purple wire, you have to flip it upside down. And then when you get inside there where the purple wire clips at, that's where you can get the screwdriver in. But from this way, you won't be able to get it. So if you want this purple wire off, you need to flip this over and use the little tab that's on here with your screwdriver, pop it out. It's just a little piece. I'll end up having to fix it because I pushed it in too far, but I just need to pull it out a little bit, that little piece that's right there, and it'll be ready to go back together. So a little tip to get that wire out. Alright guys, so after you get um, the black piece off of here, um, the wiring, after you do that, you just have to literally roll it out of the tank ever so carefully. And if you start to pull, go back in and roll it the other way. If it starts to get too much tension, you don't want to break anything. So literally there's enough space you just have to literally roll it over so then everything that's not straight comes out so I'm sure you guys can figure it out just roll it I'm gonna take this apart open up the box right now and see what we got going on and get this changed out so I just opened up the pump box so you get a whole assembly with the corrugated lines, new wire, um, obviously new clips, and the filter that runs on the bottom here. So it pretty much has everything in there. I think there's actually even an extra filter in there. So we'll bust this out. Um, but I want you to notice that I use the United States Coast Guard fuel line, I believe. Uh, made in USA blah 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 I'm pretty sure I thought this was the United States line but or Coast Guard line but it looks like it's um, 100 PSI so these lines anyways this fuel line is a lot better than this fuel line. These things bend and then they'll crack. And you don't want to deal with that. So I use these lines real tight, no clips. Hopefully with the high pressure pump, we still won't have this problem of it popping off. I've never had a problem of it popping off, but this is may produce more PSI. So we'll see. I doubt it's going to push out over 100 and I doubt it's going to push this line or this uh, fuel line off. So let's get everything off and we'll change it out. We'll see what's in the assembly pack, change the filter and whatever else we can use from it. Okay. That little clip was a pain in the ass to get off. Um, this corrugated pipe though, I really spent the time with the other um, gas line 
to not use this corrugated pipe. I would just I really don't want to use it, but this is a better assembly than I currently have. I need to actually get some of these clamps and the wrench that goes with it. Can't even think of what the name of it is right now, but I had so many on my old work I should have took one from there. <coughs> Anyways, this is what we got going. I'm taking this corrugated pipe off, taking that piece off, and we're gonna put that other line in. Okay, so what we have here is in the bags, it looks like it's different filters for different applications as far as pumps. Um, mine has these two tabs that are here that are a lot wider. So the one that matches up to mine is this one. Got it all assembled. I'm gonna lay it on the pump. Uh, remember, you have to articulate the pump however it needs to be positioned inside the tank so hopefully I do it right the first time or hopefully uh, yeah hopefully I do it right the first time which that's actually it's dummy proof because the holes in the back right here so whichever way it needs to go I'm just hoping the pump is right because if I have to take it off because the lines not long enough and just needs that extra little roll That'll be a pain in the ass, but we'll deal with it when we come there. I just want to let you guys know, got this on there. Um, there's some extra pieces that come in there. Uh, not a big deal. I already have a piece on here. Took that corrugated piece off. Um, it comes with extra wire, but it's a double male piece. And I need a male piece to go in here. I was hoping it was an extension. That would have been cool. But, um... Anyways, still perfect size wire. We'll get this all assembled back. I just want to let you guys know. Um, different filters. So don't let all that other stuff confuse you. All right? All right. Today's a new day. Hope everybody's doing good today. I'm sweaty. Uh, it's just one of those days. 100 plus degrees outside, actually. I'm lying. It's like... 70 degrees outside 75, but where I was working today, it was fucking hot. So, here's a little update. Last night, putting the fuel pump together, um, I didn't film putting it back together, just what I showed you guys, because there's not really a lot to put back together, but I had to splice that purple wire right there. I opened it up, spliced in that purple wire for the ground. Um, it did rip out when I was putting it in. And I was just having a little problems with the, on this one right here, uh, the uh, uh, O-rings and stuff that were inside there, uh, this piece, the filter. I th honestly think, guys, that the filter was the whole reason why the buzzing was happened. I seen another video, and some guy said that the buzzing happened from that. But here's a little quick update for you guys. I'm sweating my ass off. Um, the bottom of this just had a cap on it so I put my bike together I went to start it nothing 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 so I said fuck I fucked up and I was drinking so I said you know what I'll deal with it tomorrow I took the bottom off of this thing right now pissed off and the plastic thing fell on the ground so there's a cap that's on this hole right here okay if you guys happen to put one of these on take that cap off because that was pretty stupid of me. So, with that said, it's pretty much the same thing in, guys. I need to change that filter, but I'm going to do that on a different day. Um, so, I'm going to put this pump in, just put the wires back together. It's pretty simple. Because I have um, this piece on now, the little stainless piece that I have on here, it does make it a little bit more difficult to get in the tank. And it didn't seem like it was that hard before with the other pump and the other, well, these hoses were still on it, but I didn't have a, a, a clamp on there. And it was much easier to fit inside the tank. Now that I have a clamp on there and a new pump, it was much harder. And you know what? The bottom was never fitting on right and it was pissing me off. Well, that's what happens when you drink too much. There was a cap on there. So here's a little cap.
here's the little cap that was on there. That's my dumbass fault for not looking through it, not paying attention to it. I was looking at more of the filtration system rather than the actual suction. So, with that said, let's put it back together and get my bike started. Okay, here's another little tip, guys. I went to put the filtration system on and the inlet suction hole for the pump, about right here, the filter actually needed to be pushed inside of the hole. I can see it through the gap down here and then I started in this little gap right here and then I started just shoving it in there wiggling it and it popped in so that's a little uh, that's a little tip for you guys okay make sure that this filtration system at the bottom of the suction inlet is plugged in there nice and tight okay that said let's put this thing back together Here is the fuel filter number for my 2014. Comes with the O-ring. Do not, when you're trying to clip this in, if you can't get it in one piece and you have to do it in two pieces, uh, it's going to be hard to get to. Um, and you can accidentally open up these two parts right here this part and this part um, I just took my filter out it was really really dirty and I think that's where all the um, high buzzing was coming from um, I think it was like trying to push or somewhat cavitating or um, so this is a 06 to 21 fuel filter so for the Dyna so whatever you do don't drop the o-ring or your bike will not start um, what will happen is you'll go put everything back together and your bike won't start because it has no comp it, The fuel just leaks out of here and it will go on the bottom of your tank and you won't be able to see it very well um, I just cleaned out the canister here. There was a lot of dirt inside of here on the fuel pump housing and uh, Yeah, so in here, there was a lot of dirt. I'm gonna put the new filter in there right now. Um, I don't think I ever changed the fuel filter. It might have one time. So 20,000 miles. Really dirty, really bad. Um, So, it's supposed to be white. So, we'll get this out. And I think that's where all the high pitch noise was coming from. Okay? Alright guys. So there's this metal pin. It's like a U shape that goes in right here. Pull it out. And you can separate this. I didn't have to before without changing the pump. Now that I've changed the pump, I've had to take that off a couple of times to get the assembly done. Um, it's much easier. Pop it off here, slide it out, pull it up a little bit, take that little ring off, separate this piece from the filtration, from the filter and the white piece right here. Little tip. Alright, so my kids are asleep, but um, let's see if this motherfucker starts up. Oh, come on, Big Daddy. Sounds good. Oh, no. Damn it. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that I figured it out. Shot out. We got a gas tank. Wind fuel, fuel up. Trying to charge a battery. Hooking it up to the car. <laughs> we got a cluster fuck of stuff over here. So anyways, what was really going on is took everything apart again for the second time. Grabbed my flashlight, looked in the tank. What do I know? The O-ring for the fuel filter's in there. So the fuel regulator wasn't even working. That's the problem. So we're gonna put that the O-ring back in, everything back in. So now 
do need a new fuel regulator. I should have just bought one to put it in there. And a fuel filter for sure, for sure. So I'm gonna put this back together for tonight, but I need to get a fuel filter ASAP. But I'm pretty sure that this is gonna go together just fine after this. So stay tuned, I'm gonna start it up. All right, let's try this out one more time, guys. So I'm pretty sure that's that O-ring. Got it all back together, put my tins back together. I'm pretty sure it's gonna start right now. The O-ring was out of it, so I mean, I've been taking it apart four times in the last 24 hours. So when I need to change the fuel filter, this shit's gonna be easy for me. I've even arranged some stuff in there to even make it easier for me. So, oh yeah, let's try it. Got it. Make sure you have new O-rings. Make sure the O-rings are in. And don't fuck that up.